Are you afraid of God? No. But I'm afraid of you. Are you going to just sit there? As compared to what? Standing. Not standing. Rowing. Rowing? Hadn't planned on it. So you expect me to shoulder What's the this? burden? No. But I do expect you to do all the rowing. And why is that? Coming here was your idea. My idea? I made it very clear that I don't believe in the exercise. The rowing? No. Imagine that's wonderful exercise. Then what? The entire thought experiment. Excuse me. How much longer? One goes into an experiment knowing one could fail. But one does not undertake an experiment knowing one has failed. Can we get back to the rowing? I suggest you do. No, We're right. never going to get there. No, I mean I'd greatly appreciate it if you would assist. Perhaps you should ask him. I imagine he has a greater interest in getting there than I do. I suppose he does, but there's no point in asking. Why not? Because he doesn't row. He doesn't row? No, he doesn't row. Ah, I see what you mean. Turning. Would that change anything? It might give him some comfort. Well, at least that's something we can agree on. Hey! Is somebody meeting me here? I'd certainly hope so. It does seem like a dreadful place to be stranded. Well, maybe there's someone inside. Excuse me, it's Booker DeWitt. Uh, I guess you're expecting me? Good luck with that, pal. Is anyone here? Hello?
expect me to sit in their fancy chair. Make yourself ready, Pilgrim. The bindings are there as a safeguard. No, no, god damn it! Ascension. Ascension in the count of five. Count of four. Three. Two. One. Love the prophet because he loves the sinner. Love the sinner because he is you. Excuse me. Where am I? Heaven. There for a redeemer. And without sin. I must keep such questions to myself unless I want to get made. Submerging ourselves in the sweet waters of baptism. And lo, if the prophet has struck down our enemies at need of me and not railed against the sodden beneath us, it would have been enough. 
If the Prophet had just railed against the Sodom beneath us, but not accepted the free golden gifts of the Founders, it would have been enough. If the Prophet had just accepted the free golden gifts of the Founders, and not prayed for our deliverance, it would have been enough. If the Prophet had only prayed for our deliverance, and not led us to this new Eden, it would have been enough. If the Prophet had just led us to the new Eden, and not purged the vipers of the Orient, it would have been enough if the Prophet had just purged the vipers of the Orient, but not suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, it would have been enough. If the Prophet had just suffered the sacrifice of his beloved, but not expelled the Vox Populi, it would have been enough. Is it someone new? Someone from the Sodom below? Newly come to Columbia to be washed clean before our prophet, our founders, and our lord? I just need passage into the city. Passage to the city? <laughs> Brother, the only way to Columbia is through rebirth in the sweet waters of baptism. Will you be cleansed, brother? Hey, I'm just looking to pass through. <laughs> hey. I baptize you in the name of our prophet, in the name of our founders, and the name of our Lord. I don't know, brothers and sisters, but this one doesn't look clean to me. Told you, I'm not gonna do it. Go away, Mr. DeWitt. Mr. DeWitt. Idiot priest needs to learn the difference between baptizing a man and drowning one. She granted a sword of gold. I need to find a landmark and figure out where the hell I am. To Father Franklin, a key of gold so that Eden might have industry that set her above. Our prophet fills our lungs with water so they may better love the air. He who crossed the Delaware with flaming sword and wings of angels. Watch over me and lend me strength. Shield my mind from fear and doubt so that I may hold fast against all invaders. Father Washington, hear my prayer. Paragon of virtue, a rebel against ignorance and tyranny. Share with me your wisdom and let the light of your good judgment shine like a beacon through the darkness. Father Jefferson, hear my prayer. There's no chance for luck. Just because the city flies don't mean it ain't got its fair share of fools. All right. Still got a girl to find.
pal. You gotta wait like all the rest. Raffle and fair. Huh. He's strong in the sword, but a bit weak in the key and the scroll. said I'd find her. Telegram, Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Telegram for you, sir. DeWitt, stop. Do not alert Comstock to your presence. Stop. Whatever you do, do not pick number 77. Stop. Tess. Well, good day to you, sir. Hello. I agree. You keep saying that. Should we go in? If I told you a man could hoist a one-ton stallion straight into the air, would you believe me? Well, friends, I am here today to tell. Those are no flights of fancy. Those are no tall tales told behind the pool hall. No, sir. No, ma'am. Those are biggers I'm talking about. Brought to you courtesy of Mr. Jeremy. Sorry, pal. The raffle is all sold out. Entrance is reserved for dignitaries and very important personages alone. Yes, and that don't mean me. Let me through. Heads. Or tails. Heads. Told you. Hmm. 
I never find that as satisfying as I'd imagine. Chin up, there's always next time. I suppose there is. Division got them. We're gonna flush the box out of the Skyline system. Uh, we gotta have the best. Uh, we got any openings in the group? I'd love to bust some Vox skull. <laughs> There's never a charge for the raffle. You've been sleeping under a rock? 77. 77. That's a lucky number. I'll be rooting for you. Bring me the bowl! Is that not the prettiest young white girl in all of Colombia? <laughs> all right, then. The winner is number 77! Well, what do you know? Number 77, come and claim your prize! First round! you get that brand? Uh, Don't you know that makes you the backstabbing snake in the grass, False Shepherd? And we ain't letting no False Shepherd into our flock. <laughs> Show them what we got planned, boys! 